Well, obviously, um, disappointed. I felt like we um, put ourselves in a, in a pretty good position, um, despite the fact that we had gave up too many offensive rebounds in that first half. Um, we were still able to get up seven in the second half, and then I just felt like we had some breakdown in our defensive assignments, and then I just sensed a lot of deflation on our team, and we just had a hard time uh, regrouping from that point. And, um, you know, you saw a very experienced veteran Vandy team who obviously there's a reason they've been to the NCAA tournament. I think the last 11 years, they were just pretty steady. Uh, they weathered the storm through the good and the bad. And, um, you know, they've got a, a first team all conference player who's awfully good in Clark and, and just such a strong supporting cast. And we're just not quite there yet. But, um, you know, we'll just have to keep and continue to learn, grow, and, and get better. Hopefully, we'll have a chance to get to the postseason and the WNIT and um, get a little bit, a few more games in our belt and continue to, to get more experience in our belt. All right, we'll take questions for the student athletes. There's a microphone up front. Yes, sir. Liz, you had uh, 16 and 8, 16 points, 8 rebounds after the game. What's it like, you know, putting it all out on the floor in a game like that? It seemed like you were the focus of the offense the entire night and still coming up short. Um, well, before the game, you know, we were all preparing, and um, my mindset of this game is just this is the last game of my career. I'm going to put it all out there no matter what. Um, you know, tomorrow is never guaranteed. So that was my mindset, and I was going to go out fighting. So, and I know we're going to keep going that way. So. Any others for the athletes up front? I guess Morgan, Liz, each of you, if you want to just talk a little bit about that turning point in the game, you guys had a seven point lead and they went on 18 0 run. I guess take us through uh, that, that time period. We'll start with Morgan. Um, I know myself personally, I think I let number 10, who's a, an excellent shooter, I, uh, I helped in uh, on the post when I should have stayed out on her. I know I had a, a few uh, mistakes. I drove in the lane once, had a, took a bad shot, and then I drove in the lane again, bad pass to Bree, and I think those were back to back possessions that were kind of just, you know, you know, bad possession for us, but we weren't able to get any points from it. Liz? Um, yeah, at, at that point, I think, you know, we could have um, stayed more true to our, our true offense, you know, setting more screens for our guards, um, which is on me, and um, just getting in the flow of things. I think at that point they really dug in on the post and they were helping off a lot, so it was hard to get it in. But, um, yeah, they had a run in there that we should have taken care of. All right, we'll go ahead and take questions for Coach. Coach, can you talk about, it seemed like those back-to-back -back threes from, I think it was Lister, then Folk, it seemed like that was the turning point. Can you just talk about just those three-pointers and how it seemed to shift the momentum? Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think that was um, absolutely the turning point, and I just didn't think we handled that. Uh, we responded very well to that. And, um, you know, they, I, they were spot up good looks at the basket. We just absolutely had a breakdown in our defensive assignments and, and didn't weather that very, very well. You know, in, in tournament games this time of the year, it's going to be a game of runs. There's going to be some highs, some lows, but you've got to, you got to continue to play in the present and not allow that kind of deflation to set in. And um, I really felt like it got the best of us and we just did not respond or regroup from that point on. Talk about the first half with Vanderbilt getting the offensive rebounds that they were. It seemed like the ball was bouncing around on their offensive side, and you guys just couldn't get your hands on it. But they only went six for 35. Um, do you feel like rebounding was the biggest issue there? You guys being more fresh with Smith, you know, making shots the way she was, um, just getting the ball on the offensive side of the court was such a struggle for you guys. Do you feel like that would have made a difference if y'all would have rebounded better there? Well, you know, something that we've been pretty solid with all year long is our transition. And, and um, you know, when you give up second and third shot opportunities, again, I think there's a little bit of deflation that sets in. And, um, you know, but I think really what, what hurt us tonight more than anything, and it's kind of been our Achilles heel all year, all year long, um, you know, they had 20 points off our turnovers. And, um, you know, I liked our defensive game plan coming in. Uh, we had a couple breakdowns. Um, you know, and, and just felt like we had some sh some good looks, and in the shop, the ball wasn't falling for us tonight. But, gosh, um, every possession is big, and especially when you're not shooting the ball very well. Um, you know, I, I think they ended up having, well, they had 11 more possessions than we did, but 20 points off your turnovers, that's going to come back to hurt you. I do. Front right, your left. 
Coach, can you talk about the matchup zone? It seemed like your matchup zone really kind of caused them a lot of problems to discombobulate their offense. Can you just talk about what did you see going into the game <clears throat> when you brought up that matchup zone? It seemed to be very effective. Yeah, you know, we felt like, um, no doubt about it, they've got some tremendous basketball players on the perimeter and, and with Clark on the inside. But we just really felt like, um, um, you know, with not knowing what uh, Fogey's status was going to be uh, going into the game, if she was going to play or not. Um, we could pass around their shooters and, and really be conscientious of, of their inside game. We felt like um, offensively um, they weren't quite as explosive in their motion sets as they were their man sets. It would allow us to help inside a little bit more uh, with Clark, who's such a tremendous player for them. And so, um, you know, we and I liked our game plan. I really did. I felt like it was a good game plan. We didn't box out very well out of it. But, um, you know, even even in the second half, we, we lost our shooters a couple times. But... Uh, I think I'd do it the same way all over again, to be honest with you. Um, we just we had a hard time knocking down shots today. Didn't get to the free throw line as much as we would have liked, and when we had good looks, we we didn't convert on them. But again, give them credit. I mean, they played they played well defensively, switched on a lot of screens. Um, you know, even even when they had their little point guard on on Liz, um, you know, she battled. She played with a lot of toughness. Um, she made it hard for Liz to get deep post ups. So give Vandy a lot of credit. If you just want to mention, in short, your experience first year in the SEC, now that it's all over. Well, I've got a tremendous respect for this league. It's, um, it's uh, you know, a lot of people think it's the best league in the country, and I'm certainly one of those people. I think, um, you know, it's it's hard when you change leagues. Um, and especially um, compiled with a very young and inexperienced team, I think it makes it really challenging. But playing in new venues against new personnel, no matter how much tape you watch, no matter how much tape these guys watch, I think until you go through it in person, um, it's really hard to get a feel for. And so, um, and, and you know, personnel and systems and style of play, um, you know, the first time you go to Tennessee, I think there's a little bit, we've talked about this, that awestruck, um, playing at Bandy, tough, tough venue to play in if you haven't been in, been there before. Um, so there's certainly been some challenges, but we're really looking forward to it. Um, we got a lot of work to do ahead of us. Uh, we've, we've got a, a lot of areas that we need to improve on. Um, but I think the first year in, in a new league with a young team, I'm proud of our young ladies, and uh, we're looking forward to really getting after it in the offseason and, and improving as a team.